Get inspired. Welcome to the Daily Devotional. Do you know what the Scripture, the Bible states concerning itself? That's right. The Word of God gives testimony concerning itself. 1 Timothy 3.16 All Scripture or every Scripture is inspired by God and is profitable. This is the witness of the Word to itself. The Bible is chock full of scriptures, scripture verses attributing to its veracity as the Word of God. Why do we consider the Bible to be the inspired Word of God? Well, it declares some 2,000 plus times alone in the Old Testament that the Word of the Lord came unto me, or this is what the Lord is saying in the Old Testament alone. It claims, according to Paul, that as we've stated, every scripture is inspired by God. The original language uh, has the sense of it's, it's God breathed, God spoken. St. Peter tells us scripture originates from the heart and mind of God. It is transmitted and attended to, superintended by the Holy Spirit. It is called Traditionally, the Holy Bible for a reason. Peter tells us that holy men of God were inspired by the Holy Spirit and they wrote a holy book. They produced a holy book that attests to God who is both holy and good. Someone said John 3.16 tells us about the Savior, the Son of God given to the world and 2 Timothy 316 speaks of the scriptures given divinely through inspiration of the Holy Spirit. These two entities comprise the two greatest gifts ever given by God to man. Both are called the Word, Jesus Christ, the living Word, and the Bible, the written Word of God. One of the most favorite passages concerning Christ, the living word, is Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus Christ, the same, yesterday, today, and forever. Times may change, our lives may change, the world may change, but Jesus never. One of the favorite passages of of Scripture about the Bible states this, Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my to my pathway. God's Word gives us inspiration and hope and comfort and confidence in a world of trouble. Again, the two are very unique. No one else has ever lived like Jesus. And no other book has ever been written like the Bible. The written Word presents Jesus as both human and divine, the God-man. The scriptures present themselves as written by human authors, yet human beings guided and superintended by the Holy Spirit. Hundreds and thousands of times, these human authors spoke and wrote as the oracles or with the authority of God. Christ came down from heaven according to his own testimony. He himself said, though heaven and earth will pass away, my word shall never pass away. Just as Christ the Savior was without sin, even so, Jesus said concerning the scriptures, they are without error, he stated plainly the scriptures cannot be broken. To put it in the vernacular, Jesus said, not one dotted I, nor crossed T, shall pass from the law until all things be fulfilled. Jesus came as the Savior of the world, and the Scripture tells us that we can be saved, and we can, we can, and how to be saved, and that we can know we are saved. Listen to the words that fell from the pen of the Apostle John in 1 John 5 and 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, And this life is in His Son. 
these things are written that you who have believed on the name of the Son of God may know that you have eternal life. This is good news in the face of our mortality before, with, or after coronavirus is long history. The songwriter wrote, sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Let me more of their beauty see, wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty, teach me faith and duty, wonderful words, beautiful words, wonderful words of life, wonderful words, beautiful words, wonderful words of life. May you find inspiration and hope and comfort in God's Word this day, even as we enjoy our daily food, the sun that shines, uh, the birds that sing, or the grass that grows. God's Word will outlast them all, and Christ will reign eternally. God bless you.